right, everybody, welcome back to episode four of Cheap Pass. We had a good previous round scoring a point. Uh, yeah, in this episode, going to Azerbaijan, and I think it'll be our first uh, experience of the sprint race. Looking at our suspension, we only have two in the warehouse, and they're at 44%. Um, so they're probably at that point where they're probably going to start failing. Uh, you can see here the expection chance is 9%, so... You know that could hit just any race so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna manufacture just two uh, and it's gonna be uh, six hundred thousand dollars so we were notified our race simulator got built uh the upgrades are in effect we're at 60 percent um weekly development uh, we're gonna hold off on upgrading this uh race simulator one more time because this is half of what we currently have left in the budget so we're gonna skip on this final upgrade for the race simulator but we will look at it for next season so we see here as we get pulled by Simone Resta, uh, our new rear wing is finished, but uh, I forgot to leave a manufacturer slot open. We are working on the, uh, I believe, front wings that we were making end of last episode and the new suspension pieces that we made at the start of this episode. All right, so sponsors VIP experience. We are being told that we will host an event for a bunch of sponsors, and this is about the uh, sponsor guarantees. Uh, that I don't think I actually show in these. But yeah, uh, throw a big thing for the sponsors in hope of uh, more payout for guarantees and less for none. So we're going to approve it because money. So we have a regulation vote for a change to downforce. So high speed and low speed downforce changes. So basically, we're going to have the high speed get hit more or the low speed get hit more. And if we go to our cars panel real quick, we can show you. If we go to rank on grid, we are the worst. Our worst area is top speed and high speed. So if we just vote for that, uh, that will help us out. So we're going to go for the one that has the most penalty for high speed. All right, and looking at our regulation vote results, uh, it went through. And with that going through, we now have research available for our car next year. Uh, so we're going to uh, not research a part right now because the ATR period uh, we've maxed out. So we're going to be uh, waiting until the next ATR begins in 14 days. So our extra suspension pieces have finished. Uh, so our manufacturing slots have opened up and we're going to build four of our new rear wings and we are going to have two of them for Azerbaijan. All right, so following qualifying, Carlos Sainz is on pole. Verstappen second. This is for the sprint. Uh, Alonso third. And we got Porsche into ninth. Got to remember eighth place's points in the sprint. Uh, Polo got to 12th. And uh, I forget who. No, it was Ocon. Ocon crashed at the end of qualifying one. And it quickly popped up. And I think it went red in the end of the session. And I wasn't unable to see the replay. So no replay of the crash. Getting ready for our first sprint. Uh, we're going to go a little aggressive with Polo. Uh, we're going to put him on the soft all the way to the end of the sprint. Uh, hopefully he can make it to the end. I think he should be able to. Uh, and then Porsche, we're going to put him on the medium. I think that's the safest compound for the sprint. So uh, 17 laps. Let's uh, go to the sprint. Our sprint today sees the drivers take on 17 laps of the Baku City Circuit. Expect to see plenty making the most of Baku's long, wide main straight. That's going to be their best chance to overtake and secure a strong result. But just who comes out on top when the checkered flag flies? Now's the time for the sprint here in Baku. And it slides out, and away we go. Alrighty, so I was actually wrong about the sprint. It's turns out uh, this is uh, like the old sprint format where it's the uh, qualifying session into the sprint. Britain sets the lineup for the start of the race. So that puts a little bit more stake into us actually doing the sprint. So Porsche is going to drop all the way down to 11th place. Uh, maybe we need to just have him. Uh, uh, hmm. He has a lot of tires, so we're going to give him aggressive. I'm going to tell both of them to... I don't want to tell them to 
and we're gonna put him on a uh, ERS battle assist and the same thing goes for below so poor share is currently in 12th place needing to push he's gonna be about it looks about 70 percent so we're just gonna have him go attack full attack Not right now and then we're gonna actually uh want to tell him to push so hard oh DN drs is actually immediately enabled all right so we're gonna go deploy on both cars here actually fine just letting Polo sit where he is currently for sure for sure is already 1.5 seconds back from defreeze and there's a whole drs train the entire way up to uh to fifth place here but we need to get by uh mr we don't know who that is oh it's norris i forgot which mclaren driver it was Absolutely losing out to the cars in front. We need him to get the DRS. We need him to just slingshot immediately and just blow by him here. But he looks like he's lacking that top speed. 2.5 seconds back from DeFreeze. We really, really need to get this going. But we're actually losing. Yeah, we're losing too much here. So we're going to go on to neutral. We're going to go on to uh, balanced with the fuel. We're going to have him just stay on aggressive here. We're going to go a little four times here just to get through this. Man, he's already dropped back. Why are we so slow? We're able to flicker within that, uh, that one second gap. And Plo is getting a lot of pressure behind from Botas. Looking all right in the tires here, but... Like I said, I'm worried more about Porsche making it or Pelot making it to the end as uh, Pelot is actually catching up. So I wonder if just the tires being a little warm is actually helping Pelot or if just Pelot just has that pace that he can just use to, to overtake here. We're actually going to have him. Oh, is he's actually we're going to have him harvest. We completely missed that. Gonna watch his battery here. I hope he doesn't fall too far back from Polo. Or share. I'm having so much trouble with them having the same first letter, their last name. We're on Polo, chasing Porsche. Bouncing back and forth for no reason. Ocon's involved as well. We have just enough of a gap ahead of them. Right, we're gonna go neutral. Alright, we're gonna jump on board Polo here. Come, don't fight his teammate. And then we're going to tell you to go deploy, do that, and we're going to have you go full attack for at least a lap. For you, why are you struggling? Is it just because you don't have the confidence right now? Is that it? Yeah, just very low driver confidence. Wow. Actually, kind of crazy. That had that much of a difference. We're going to wait until Polo's tires get yellow, and then we're going to go back to neutral. As Alonzo is actually leading the sprint. All right, we're going to go back to standard. We're close enough to the end of the sprint where I'm going to do this, this. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. All right, neutral. Pop up maybe a little bit. Polo is currently 2.3 behind share we're gonna have him go back on the neutral because he's getting close hello is immediately back under attack man it's a lot to keep up with right now We're going to jump on board with one of them. So we're going to get on board with Porsche. We're going to have Porsche to sit behind him and harvest. Have him go back to neutral. And then we're going to let him 
Attack his teammate. He so pleases. So we have enough tire. I'm going to just have him go full attack and deploy and have him go deploy as well. I'm going to kind of leave him where he is. We're going to let him actually go and push as well. I'm going to go to the little eight times here. We're going to see what they can do. See if we can just get within that DRS range for Pelo and Pelo does. I did not mean to pause there. Okay. Right. So we're going to have him sit in neutral. Man, Porsche's just struggling. Go balance. He's on deploy as well. Blow right in the back bumper of, uh, Norris. <laughs> I almost said Pato because I saw McLaren colors. And I just finished watching the IndyCar race. We're going to have Blow kind of just sit there, go standard for a minute. We're going to tell him to be high on the aggression. All right, what's Porsche doing? Porsche is just kind of sitting where he is, and he's out of DRS. And he's got Sonoda right behind him, so we're actually going to tell him to harvest. Blow. He's going to go for it. No. Share. He's going to get past. Okay, so we're going to put him on neutral. And we're going to have him go full attack. We're going to tell Blow to go full attack as well. Push a little bit. And full deploy. Alonso has done it. And Alonso wins the sprint. Today's Grand Prix winner. Alright, well, we get him at the line. No, we won't. Oh, come on. And we're not going to get the Noda either. Bummer. A bad day for the Haas driver, who's ended up without any points in today's sprint. At the end of that, it's a 15th place finish. Alright, so these are your sprint slash grand prix lineup i don't know why they, they do it like this when it's like different in real life but that's whatever yeah alonzo on top uh followed by signs for stappen perez uh, stroll hamilton russell and leclerc get points a uh, ghastly is the first one out about eight seconds back and they're showing that there's just a bit of a pace difference between up front and everyone back here uh, yeah, we finished 13th and 15th, so we lost uh, six spots for Prochere. Just kind of lost a lot of confidence there. A Apollo lost a spot, so overall a negative uh, result from uh, the sprint.